Uh, my name is Penny Burke and I am the director at Essence Communications, which is a strategic research and marketing consultancy. And some sort of chocolate sauce connoisseur, I assume. Uh, mm, chocolate sauce connoisseur. Want to know the story? Please do. Uh, my first ever ad was Pro Heart. Mr. Heart, what a mess. And so that was, oh, I hate to think how many years ago now, a number of years ago. But in those days I was a junior burger and I did actually have to prove to the Advertising Standards Council, which I'm pretty sure still exists, that all of these items would in fact come out of the carpet. So I had to set up a, uh, a room in a studio and I had a whole array of products and I had to do my own pro heart thing and throw uh, chocolate sauce and orange juice and black forest cake and all the items that he used. Um, let it set overnight. I had to drive my car over it because we did that as well in one of the takes and then I had to clean it the next day. So I can safely say that chocolate topping does come out of a stained master carpet. The only thing that doesn't come out is cold coffee. So hot coffee comes out but not cold. So if you're going to have a big night, don't spill the coffee. And the other thing is orange juice concentrate. That doesn't come out either. But otherwise, even food dye came out, everything else came out except those items. So obviously when we then went forth to produce the ad and Pro Heart had his palette of items, we just made sure that coffee, we sort of steer clear all together and orange juice concentrate were not on the list, but chocolate sauce was. So in those days, uh, research was probably not as developed as there was now, and so we didn't do any research, <laughs> to be honest. But it was a very interesting problem in the sense that wool carpet owned the hearts and minds of uh, most Australians in, for residential purposes. And nylon carpet, which is what Stainmaster was, it was the first sort of nylon carpet, was synonymous with shiny, blue, commercial, ugly, not at all luxurious. Um, and so they were fairly well sort of entrenched attitudes and then the client came up and presented us with this Stainmaster carpet and for the first time ever we were literally doing the can you tell if this is wool or not with a, with a carpet square and, and it was an amazing product. It was actually the first time ever that they did in fact make a nylon product that did feel as good as wool and in truth actually was much more stain resistant than wool because it is obviously treated with chemicals so it was much more durable. So we were in a situation where we knew for the first time we actually did have a product that was demonstrably superior but winning the uh, up here, winning the war up there wasn't going to do it. We sort of had to win the hearts not just the minds. So um, without any research we just decided that we needed to dramatise the stain resistant qualities of the product. Now that didn't mean that there wasn't a fight because the clients were so impressed that they'd finally made this luxurious carpet. They wanted to bang on about luxury. So there was definitely lots of debate. They just wanted to say this is beautiful, it's luxurious, you'll never know, your friends will never know that it's nylon. That we just felt that the, the barrier to nylon, this heart's bit was so high that you would always know it was nylon. So what you had to do was come up with another benefit that was going to trump all, that was going to make it such a, a simple conclusion for you that well if it's got those qualities, and of course that's the problem that everyone has with carpet, it's expensive but it stains, um, then, then it was going to be a, a lay down was there and almost not even mention the wall. So actually we never even mentioned that the carpet happened to be nylon, we just went and positioned it on the basis of stain resistance and then we obviously took a very simple demonstration of stain resistance and we absolutely exponentially demonstrated it in a way um, that was very memorable but uh, no research but that's not to say that there wasn't lots of discussion and debate and argument about luxury positioning versus stain resistance positioning. So uh, it was a fascinating shoot, quite apart from so the shoot was interesting but spending time with Pro Heart was fascinating. I remember we did a tour of his house and there on the wall, he has the largest collection of Rembrandts in the world, a private collection of Rembrandts, or had. I don't know if it's still there or not. And they would just be hanging on the walls. And you know, I'd been to the Louvre where it's all climate controlled and you know, Mona Lisa's behind bulletproof glass. No, there is in Pro Heart's house, a Rembrandt on the wall and below it is a vase of plastic flowers. So it's just, it's, he was a very interesting person. Rest in peace, Pro.